Hi, my name is Elle of Sunbeam Mel. Today I'll be sharing how to film and edit a room makeover. It's a great way to celebrate completing any project at home. Try it with painting walls, styling a bookshelf, or even just making your bed. A room makeover is all about the big final reveal, so we'll be using lots of short detail clips to build anticipation and make it really exciting. First I'll go over the clips you need, and then I'll share how to edit it in the app. First you're going to get your shots. I like getting lots of close-up detail shots for a project like this. Corners of the frames, details of the prints, hands working. It's good to include lots of action shots too. If you're shooting with someone else like I am, I'm filming with my fiancé Cody. Make sure that you're filming in a similar style so the final video will have continuity. Make sure you get footage of every step of the process. Opening the boxes, assembling the frames, fitting the art, and hanging the finished pieces. You want to have a lot of footage to choose from, and the variety will make what we do more interesting. Let's edit! Open the KineMaster app and select the plus icon to create a new project. I'm going to choose the aspect ratio, 16 to 9. Select Media, Video, and access your video via the camera roll. Press Import. I'm using a lot of clips for this and arranging them in a chronological order to tell the narrative. You could watch this even without audio and it could still make perfect sense. It's that simple. I like to put all the clips together and then watch the playback before making any edits. You can usually tell what's overdrawn and what doesn't need to be there. I like to adjust the speed of video clips that seem too long. It can really help to streamline them. Now, add the transitions. I'm using Linewalker. I like the way its style complements my clips and adds a little drama. I'm using a different line walker, starting with one and working my way up to six to add additional interest. Using the different versions of this effect, add additional interest for the viewer without being too jarring and create a counterclockwise flow. I especially like using line walker for this project because it creates the effect of drawing back a curtain to reveal the final gallery wall. Now, go ahead and make your final basic edit. I tweaked the lighting and contrast in this video. I'm not adding any additional visual effects here. I like the simplicity of the edit because the film is already pretty busy. If this isn't the case for you, mix it up with some additional assets from the asset store. It might be fun to add an effect like shifted lines or interference for every clip but the last one. It'll make the final clip seem even more clear and striking and emphasize that your project is now done. Add your chosen audio and you're done. Now, let's save and export the final video to the camera roll on your phone. If you'd like to work on this project on other devices that also have the KineMaster app, you can save it as a .kine file with all the digital assets. Here's how to do it. On the main screen, select the See All under My Projects. By clicking the three dots in the upper right hand corner, you can rename this project and save it to your iCloud Drive. In order to access and manage your iCloud files, you'll need the app called Files. This app is made by Apple. It's free. It's a native app and generally comes standard when you set up your iPhone. If for some reason you don't have it, go to the App Store and download the blue folder. Now, rename your project. I'm calling mine Room Redo. Now, save it. You can create new folders to organize your files. I'm calling this one KineMaster. Going back to the iCloud Drive, you can find this .kine file and share it. You have a few options. Use AirDrop to share the project to your other device. When this device receives the file, it will open the KineMaster app automatically. You can continue editing here. You can also share this project using other apps like text message, email, or WhatsApp. To work on a KineMaster project, you can open a KineMaster file from the main screen. Just tap Create New, scroll down, and import the .kine file. This is the best way to save and share your work in progress. KineMaster makes it easy. Thank you for following along with my room redesign today. Use KineMaster to edit your room makeovers and tag KineMaster and I so we can see what you come up with. Leave your comments and any questions you have below. See you next time.